All right. Well, welcome everybody. Thank you for uh, for being here. Um, you can't ask me any questions about the game. I came in to watch the film this morning and got interrupted. So, so it's. Uh, but I want I want to say that uh, you know the, the lot of lot of uh, feelings and emotions for sure. Uh, a lot of. Uh, disappointment I suppose and and uh, but at the same time I'm going to remain and believe in uh, remaining thankful uh, this is uh, an awesome place uh, Dee and I have enjoyed it a, a ton and uh, she's found a good life here and a good tennis life that she can do and, and uh, I have found a ton of good people I really really am thankful for the people I work with um, and I'm thankful for uh, the many people that I've met uh, in this state, in, in the travels through the state. Um, lots of people now I would consider friends. And, and uh, I appreciate the high school coaches, which, you know, I've gotten uh, a nice chance in the last couple of years to develop some relationships there. And, and most of all, I suppose I'm really thankful for our team. Uh, we, we've been through a lot together. Uh, the seniors were able to maintain through the end of this year in a good way, and our players came to work every day. I think that's a credit to their individual character and a credit to our coaches for kind of keeping it together uh, through what, what we all know as tough times in sports. Uh, so we are a, a appreciative and thankful. and. and and probably will reflect on being wishful about uh, further opportunity, but we know how that goes too. So uh, there is at a base level an understanding of all that. So with that, uh, I don't think I've left any of those parts out, but uh, with that I can open it up to some questions. Well, meeting with players in a situation like this, haven't had to do it very often, but it's, it's uh, for me, it's very, very emotional, you know, because, uh, the, you know, the, I, th I told them that the thing that, as I've gotten older in this thing, the thing that I've appreciated as much as anything, more, more so than probably earlier on when it was all about the X's and O's and the coaching, is the relationship with players and, and the realization that somewhere in the career that this thing is bigger than football, that our opportunity with these young men is special at a special time in their life. So if you approach your job that way, then uh, the opportunity to see them in a situation like we did today is, uh, for me, fairly <clears throat> hard and emotional. Oh, you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm not overly concerned about m me right now. Uh, the people around me are really, really important to me. From the from the coaching staff to the team to uh, uh, my family. Um, so, you know, I'm I'm just, you know, I'm right now. I'm <clears throat> at this next moment, looking forward to being a granddaddy, and then uh, and then we'll see what what the future brings i i still feel real young and ready to coach but at the same time you know there might be other plans for me mike when you came here you said this was a special place that that's one of the reasons you wanted to take this job yeah what did you learn about this place well i i, I learned that this is a special place you know i was kind of told that and uh, i i think that uh, the opportunity to be here you know it's like that old song I think uh, you know I, I could have missed the pain but I would have had to miss the dance and I loved it I loved the opportunity to coach here I, I firmly believe whether or not uh, you know it, it's real or not I believe we're on the right track in both the building of a program the team and the recruitment which I think are the necessary parts of getting Nebraska back uh, but I love the opportunity to do it. Mike, not everybody in this situation chooses to talk to the, to the media. Why, why did you choose to come talk to us today? Oh, I think probably because 
you know, I, I, I wanted uh, the, the message to be that we, that we as a group, me personally, appreciated this opportunity and, uh, and that uh, we wish we could have continued it. But, and, but at the same time, I think that, uh, you know, that the, I think the opportunity for me to always speak to this group, I always think in terms of the people that are around me that I represent, family, coaching staff, team. And, and so I wanted to represent that group one more time and, and basically uh, give my message to them that uh, I love them and appreciate all the support and work through the time that we've been here. What uh, will What will I miss? What I will miss specifically, as you get into a place, Dirk, what it really becomes is people, you know, and, and, uh, and so, you know, we, we have a, a life that people see that's like this, that it's out there in front of everybody. And, you know, the, the season, the games, uh, press conferences, but we have a day-to-day -day life with real, real life people that l real life is going on with them. And what I'll miss about this place specifically are the players that I've been with, the coaching staff I've been with, the life we have in the community. Uh, so it's really, it really becomes about the people in that way. You know, in our careers, we dedicate ourselves to coaching and the growth of young people. You know, and, and now a, a couple years worth of guys that we, I sat in the living rooms and recruited. And so it's hard to look at them and 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 understand that you're not going to get to see them through this thing. That's a hard deal. Uh, I would be really really excited to coach some of these guys that are in the program uh, and growing in the program. Did, 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 did Moose give you any sense of uh, what he wanted you to accomplish over the over the five weeks? Like, over the five weeks, did, did he Sam. He, yeah, he never laid out anything that had to be done, so many wins or what, what it should look like. But he, Bill Moose was great to us to allow us to finish out the year, told us that he was going to do that, told you, I think, that he was going to do that. And he did that. And then we met about three times while he was here, which I really appreciated. And, and uh, it, was, it wasn't laid out in wins and losses, but... I've been in this a long time. I know I know what what goes on with it, and I do appreciate how they handled it, and how 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 basically Bill explained it to me and took the time to do that. It was all really well done. Is there something you're most proud of during your time here? Oh, you know what? I I think that you know I, I'm. I'm certainly disappointed that the football wasn't better. I wish we had that opportunity to continue to grow it, which I feel very confident in. But, uh, you know, I think that uh, that our group has represented the state at the highest level and the university at the highest level and the Nebraska football team at the highest level. We wanted to do it better on the field than, than has been done and wish we had the chance to continue, like I said, to do that. Uh, that's that's kind of how I see that picture, Brian. Coach, you said uh, at your introductory press conference, you described Nebraska as a great adventure. You were ready for a great adventure. I, I know, like you said, the wins weren't exactly what you wanted, but was, was the adventure what you wanted? Well, with the completion of the adventure certainly wasn't we, what we envisioned. You know, we, we certainly wanted to do better. Uh, than we've done on the football field. And, and like I said, I really, I don't want to keep saying this, but I'm, I remain confident that the pieces are in place, the program to continue to grow. And what we didn't show enough of in these changing times this last year was enough football to continue, and I understand that part of it. Uh, so... You know that we've been D and I have been fortunate in our life to have been different places and enjoyed the communities, enjoyed the, the football, all the all that part. We're 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 very blessed and fortunate to have had those experiences, and this is this is like that. We're not going to look back at 
this in any way except we were, we're, we're glad we took the opportunity uh, and, then, and then go from there. Well, that's a good one, Dirk. You know, I think that uh, I I don't know that, that anybody will need or heed any any advice, but I would I would say that you know what we discovered is is that you have to have a uh, a, a really specific recruiting plan. You know that that how you how you recruit here has got to be very strategic about how you're going to approach it. And what we've learned is that being now in the Big Ten, there's a different footprint to recruit in that I think would be important. Uh, you know, I think we were finding our way. We had a tremendous bunch of young men committed here. So we were finding our way that way. I, I think we could uh, – I think you have whatever you're going to do, you have to formulate that plan as you would anywhere. And the other part of it is it's a great place and people are behind you to try to help get it done. Well, I, found, I found a lot of support in that way. Uh, and so there's just a lot, a lot of pos positives as you look at, at Nebraska and, and, the, and the opportunity to grow it back. Thank you all very much. Appreciate you.